Hi guys, this is how to play Long Way to the Top if you want to rock and roll by ACDC. Um, a pretty uh, easy electric guitar riff. Let me just talk you through the chords for the chorus first of all, um, because that's the part of the song, which is the only part of the song really with the chord sequence as such. So we got, it's a long way, starting on an A chord, to the top is a G, D and A. So there's an awful lot of G, D, A in this song as your, as your chord sequence. Long way is an A, top is a G, if you wanna is a D, and rock and roll is an A chord. That happens twice, same again, so an A, two, three, four, A, G, D, A. One more, two, three, four, A, G, D, A. And then we just strum the A chord once. If you think it's easy doing one night stands to a D, one strum. Try playing in a rock and roll band. We gotta fly in the room, it's okay. I'll, I'll try and stay focused. Professional guitar teacher. It's a long way, is G to the top if you want to rock and roll. So that last line is slightly different. Just as a recap on those chords, if you want to click the link below in the description, it will take you to my website where I have these chords printed out for you just to have a quick glance at. Um, but that chorus part is fairly straightforward if you follow your chord sheet. Um, let's just go through it one more time. If you want to pause the video and have a quick look at the chords and then come back to it, that's fine. But let's go through, presuming you've, you've had a go at this. From your A chord, start of the chorus. One, two, three. It's a long way to the G, D and an A. And again in one, two, three. It's a long way to the G, D and an A. Okay, just an A strum of an A. If you think it's easy to in one night stands, then a D. Try playing in a rock and roll band. G, D, and an A at the end. Again, you've got a choice. Whichever way you're playing an A major chord in this song is absolutely fine. We got A three in a row. Um, we got A with your first finger in the middle, or even an A with your flat first finger. Probably for this song, uh, three in a row is gonna be easier especially for this rhythm guitar riff, uh, the Malcolm Young part, which we're going to kind of zoom in on now, though your first finger will also work. Now for your intro and all the verses in the song, that is kind of there in the background and it does grow a little bit through the song, it plays a little more open, but it tends to stay fairly muted with uh, the palm of your hand, pretty hard on the, on the strings, muting them, so that a lot of the time when you may be strumming, we get this sort of sound. But the main pulses that we want to hear through that are this. Uh, which is a cycle of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Third one slightly later than the other two, slight pause before it, all on down strums. And if you can strum those with a mute in between every one, no mute between one and two, but a mute before three, sorry. Um, that will get you 90% of what you need to be able to do on this. That extra 10% is, is a little trickier. Important to note that that first strum that you did, number one, is before the beat. It's on the offbeat of four. That first one gives it the little pull forward because it doesn't happen on beat one. It doesn't go one, two, and three and four or anything. That first one happens just before. So try and play those three main pulses. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
along to the record first. Uh, I am playing this in open tuning and using an A chord, which is how ACDC kind of play it live. To play along to the recorded version, uh, you'll want to stick a capo on first fret or play uh, an A sharp power chord, or which could be at sixth fret, but it's keeping it the same way as this would be kind of first fret. Um, play along to any live versions and it will just be an open A. Um, I don't think there are any songs where ACDC use a capo. I could be wrong, but I don't think there are. Um, so to play this riff and get the sound and kind of texture of, of the record and, and the feel of Malcolm Young's rhythm guitar playing in general, what he's doing is strumming eighth down strums all the time and palm muting heavily on any that he doesn't want heard. So we want this pulse of one, two, three, one, two, three to shine through, but we're going to be picking one and two and three and four the entire time. And that's how this suddenly gets the rhythm guitar of kind of gets transformed, but it's only 10% extra kind of content. But it is trickier content, definitely. So we're strumming all downs, but the trick is really when to uh, when to lift the, your your palm mute. So for the for the more silent ones, the the ones that we're adding, that's basically the sound we're getting. It's not a solid. I've done a lesson on palm muting before, and it's not. We're not trying to get that big rock chug sound, not, certainly not for the intro, we're actually trying to get just this. And it's just a way to keep timing, it's just a way to give the impression of, of the rhythm, of where these, of where our one, two, three pulses actually hit when they happen. So if you can see where my... Uh, where my hand lifts off, that's a choice because it's happening at the same time as we want one, two, three, one, two, three. It's essentially the same palm muting we were doing before, but I'm strumming eighths. Um, and it is slightly different. Some people, uh, you, you might want to lift off this hand on certain ones if you're really uh, comfortable doing this. If not, just stick to that one, two, three. Strumming the middle four strings, not strumming the thinnest E, not strumming the thickest one because we want it to sound chunky and a little bit more, as I say, a little bit darker for, for rock guitar riffs. And that's where it, um, where it builds from. We do have an open... which would be kind of a one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. Just kind of before that, that first strum. Um, it can even build from there if you stop palm muting as much when we're kind of in um, a chorus section. So long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. A bit more standard power eight there as well over the guitar solo and um, the bagpipe solo section as well. That rhythm of one, two, three should still be there throughout, but it's just that the rest of it has grown from a very muted to, to quite open. And if you listen to the record, I think Malcolm's parts are all panned to the left hand side. So if you take off your right headphone or um, just kind of listen to your, your left speaker, you'll be able to hear exactly what he's doing and just trying to emulate that. Um, and that's basically the, the whole song. 
Right at the end of the bagpipe solo section, there's kind of another long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. G, D, A. If you're in doubt, pretty much the chord sequence is G, D, A if you think it's changed chord. Um, but other than that, that's how to play your riff. Stick on the record, um, capo first fret if you're playing along to the original, otherwise it's just in A, so no capo needed. And uh, check out some other rock videos, we've got uh, a couple of other ACDC type videos on, on my website, so if you click the description below, you'll be able to find those. And I uh, hope this was helpful, please subscribe if you like these rock riffs, and I'll see you another time.